Hello guys and welcome back to my channel, Enchanted Nemesis Tarot. Means charmed, filled with delight, yet hard to conquer. Okay guys, so we have another pick a card on the board, guys. And this one's going to be a little different today. We're going to talk about who wants to see you fail and why. Okay, meditate over these cards, guys, and pick the charm or number that suits you best. Okay, we're going to find out who wants to see you fail and why. Meditate, guys, meditate. Pick the, pick the one that best fits you as far as what you feel. All right, guys, we are going to get started on this reading, guys. We're going to pick the first pile. Beautiful charms on here, guys. All right. So your person has been exposed who wants to see you fail. The hermit is on the board. And the hermit signifies Virgo, guys. Okay doesn't necessarily have to be a Virgo, but that's what it signifies, okay? All right, this person wants to keep you from finances, okay? They don't want you to grow financially. They don't want you to have prosperity, okay? Nothing that that Ace of Pentacles offer, they want you to have. They don't want you to have it. They are gonna try to keep you from the bag, okay? And here's how. They are the Seven of Swords, okay? The Seven of Swords. This person tells lies. They're sneaky. And they also are considered a thief. Now, a thief doesn't necessarily mean they are stealing uh, your finances, okay? This person could be stealing your time, stealing your ideas, okay? All right? They don't want you to walk down this path here, okay? They don't want you to get to this light, okay? You see that pathway, that light? You see these butterflies? They don't want you to transform into a better you, okay? This person is keeping you from the light, from that path, okay? It's going to take you a long time to get to that light if this person stays in your energy, okay? It's going to take a while before you get to that light, okay? This person doesn't want to see you get to those pentacles. They don't want your luck to shine. They don't want you to get there, okay? And what do we have on the board? Luck, okay? Luck. They don't want you to go down that path of prosperity and basically what will happen is you will outgrow them so this is not what they want for you okay all right they're trying to block your success pretty much all right so you're ever talking to somebody on the phone and you're telling them hey i gotta go i got some things to do there's some things i need to do and they continue talking not to say that that person is like that. They could just want to talk. But in some instances, people try to keep you from getting where you want to go or things you want to do. Okay? All right. Next person exposed is the Princess of Cups. And cups are emotions. So they represent Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Okay? Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. And this person, um, they may need surgery or something like that. The Nine of Swords came up. And swords are air energy, okay? But they may need surgery. I know that they're in despair. Um, they think that, like, nobody loves them. Um, they're at their lowest point. Um... And I think they want you to feel their pain, okay? 
So this person wants to see you fail because they're in pain and they're hurting and they want to inflict it on others, okay? They seem like they want you to feel alone like they do. The Eight of Cups. They want you to feel alone. This person may be around you in your energy and they could complain a lot, okay? They seem as well like they don't want you to have anything, okay? And also, I feel like with this card, they know a lot about you. They know a lot about you, okay? They'll go to the point to tell your secrets just so you are become more like them and people see you differently and then you're alone. This person wants to see you alone, okay? They want to see you in pain for some reason. They want you to feel like they do. Okay. All right. Number three, guys. Number three. All right. This person has been ex exposed as the moon. Okay. They are the moon card. Okay. And this person... wants to see you fall they are they represent Pisces they want to see you fall because it looks like you have this person okay there's no gender in tarot so it could be king or queen of wands or it could be a queen with king qualities okay so and vice versa all right so I think this person wants to see you fall because they kind of want your life, okay? You have someone in your life that cares about you, okay? And they see it, okay? They see the three of cups. I'm feeling like this person could have been in this relationship, kind of. There's a couple scenarios here. This person could have been in the relationship in a third party. Okay, because you have the lovers on the board. So I feel like maybe this could have been the other person. Okay, and wands, wands represent the other woman or a man. Okay, so I feel like this person was in a third party situation, but this person chose you over them. Okay. They chose you over them, and this is why they want to see you fail, because you know why? They don't want you to get the ring. They don't want you to have this person, so they would rather see you fail than to get this person, than to get that ring. They do not want to see you get the ring, okay? This was a third-party situation, and it's funny. It's by the number three. Third-party situation, third on the board. They don't want to see you get that ring, guys. This is the reason. This person eventually is going to offer and elevate the relationship. And this person doesn't want that. Okay? For you. They'd rather see you fall. All right, guys. We're moving on to number four. We are moving on to number four. All right. And this is two two people here. This is actually two people. It could be friends. It could be friends, okay, that know you, that are around you. We have exposed the page of cups. Cups, again, are emotions, okay? So that's Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. And then we have pentacles on the board, which are earth signs. Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, okay? So if you guys have any of these around you as friends, this is where we're going with this. All right, they, these two see you, or they could be the same person, okay? But they see you as somebody 
who knows business, okay? They see you as the queen of wands, okay? And these two are still in page, they're still in page uh, category, okay? So they're automatically beneath you still being in the page um, energy, okay? So you're, you're bossing up because the queen of wands is definitely a boss, okay? She is a business person, okay? And it could be, there's no gender in tarot, so it could be um, either or, okay? It could be male or female, all right? They see you as getting ready to make things happen, okay? You could be getting ready to open up a business or something like that, okay? They know it's coming for you, um, the privileged lady, okay? So whatever you're doing in business, if you are doing something in business or getting ready to come into business, don't share your ideals with these friends, okay? Just go ahead and do it, okay? All right, so what else we have on the board is the tower. So if you do have a business, because that could, the tower could represent a business structure, okay? They want to break down the walls of the business that you're trying to create, okay? All right, and this also tells me this bear card, this is a person that is, um, that's in authority, okay? Some kind of business, um, some kind of power in business, in the business world, Okay? So you're a person that may be starting a business or you could make things at home or something like that. But any anything, they see the potential in it and they don't want it to elevate. They want to knock down the structures. They want to knock down the structures of your business idea or business because they don't want to see you become that privileged lady. Okay? But you already are the privileged lady. You're the queen of wands. You're already a boss. Okay? On top of that, you got a great sex appeal with you, okay? And these two, they're not on your level. You are a queen. They are pages. So at some point, guys, sometimes you got to let it go, all right? You got to let certain people go if you're tr trying to come up and elevate. Okay. All right. And it looks like from that lady um, right there, um, she's waiting on something. Um, and I want to say this. I saw those two pages. Now, this is just a scenario. It's not necessarily true. But, I mean... I want to say maybe you know two people that are in the LGBT community, TQ community. Maybe they're girlfriends or boyfriends. Okay? Those two together, you know, this this could be one scenario, not necessarily, okay? Those two together don't want to see this for you. Okay? But you're a powerful, elegant woman, okay? Powerful, elegant woman, okay? And it just represents female power, okay? And again, like there's no gender in tarot, so it could be either or, okay? But somebody doesn't want to see you walk into your power. Okay, and I feel like with number four, it's two people. It is two people that don't want to see you walk into your power, into your elegant power. They just don't, okay? They don't want to see you walk into your power. All right?
right, guys. So you can pick and pluck and take what resonates because some things will not. It's not going to resonate with everyone out here. But take what does and leave the rest. Okay? Um, please, guys, remember to like, subscribe, comment. Um, and we're going to close it out, guys. Be blessed and thank you so much for watching the video.